I'm Eric Carbling, painter and designer. Just got to Memphis, Tennessee for the last stop of my out of office mural tour for Paint Memphis. So pumped to be here. So many friends from all over that do this every year. Always a big family reunion. Getting to my spot now. It's uh, the wall's a little rough, so I'm just gonna prime it with the buff they have before I get started. The beginning is not too exciting, but uh, it's important to do it so it's actually gonna go well and not be falling apart once I get started. Glad I did that little bit of extra to prep it because a lot just flew off the wall, then hopefully this paint will kind of act as a glue for what was still loose, but moving from that, just everything flying down at me. Glad I did that now versus later and then having to redo it with the actual color. Hopefully we're good, but look how much stuff just came off from just that little bit. All of it, pieces of the wall. I was splitting this trailer lift with Dustin, and that means we have to push it into place. It doesn't drive itself, you can't move it around, you have to just push it everywhere. Luckily, we had the manpower with Tony helping us out too. Got it into the spot with the extra muscle. But one thing I always want to do when I get a lift is extend it in every direction, make sure I understand what's reachable, what's not from the wall. Because this one can't really move, it's really important. Got a little bit stuck at the beginning, turning it around, but was able to lift it up, get it over the wall in that weird section. And then after moving it around, had no issue hitting every angle. Luckily for me, Tony wasn't able to get started on his wall, so he was able to help me buff this thing. We just ripped right through it so fast. I hadn't seen him in a few years, so it was awesome to spend some time together. First met him at the Eureka Street Art Festival a few years ago, and his work is so incredible, so detailed and awesome. It was great to keep this connection going forward and see what he's been up to since then. Finished up super fast, it was great. Just went back, did some much needed laundry, and got a rest for the next day. Getting a good start, got here early, got the sketch up there, did the chalk and the doodle grid. So now my favorite part of just washing it all off and hopefully can hit it as hard as possible all day. Trying to avoid the shadow as much as I can. Maybe got an hour or two, but only have the lift for today and tomorrow morning. So I think I can knock it all out and then just be hanging out watching everybody. But then get in there, see if we can do it in two days. Got the sketch in there with my normal chalk grid and then overlaying it. Other videos have a better example, forgot to record it. But going in there with the brushes now, keeping every section defined with the main color. That way I kind of know which things are which as I'm going. Eventually as I go back and forth, I'll start to get a little bit lost in it. But here you can kind of see it. main color blue, main color purple, starting there, and then adding more and more as I go. And no matter what, as long as I have this structure, no matter how messy it gets, it's always going to work out. As long as I keep this initial structure very, very strong, I can't mess it up too bad. Now adding in the background is probably my favorite part because I get to let the brushes just fly, do my squiggles, go section by section, kind of color by color, and making sure the colors are still balanced as I go. Even though I keep adding more and more and more and it gets a lot messier, I know that that initial structure is fine because I can bring it back based on what I had to start with. All right, making really good time. I think I got all the brushes done, like, and it's not even three yet, so pretty happy about that. I think I could still finish it today. Gonna let uh, Jerrica borrow the lift. She'll probably get way more use out of it than I will just sitting around the next little bit. Walk around, hang out with everybody. Now that everyone's kind of getting started and then I'll try to just come back and be really ready to go and finish it up. So let's see. Dustin Spagnola already looking incredible with this piece. Mr. Toledo from LA, always great to see him. He's so, so good. And seeing him build on how he gets his colors going is, is something I can learn a lot from. I don't know how to do anything for real, you know? I just do my own crazy stuff. Cesar Perez was cool to see painting. I had never met him before. Kev Scraps from Flint was awesome to see again. Watching Alex build this was pretty mind blowing because even though it's so detailed, she was going so, so fast and so cool. Fish from Austin was great as always. I hadn't met Cozy B before. Will Oskiotti was 
already killing this portrait on the corrugation. It is so incredibly hard to do in my amazing piece. Lauren's from San Diego. I had him at before, but it was awesome, awesome to get to meet him. When I came back, Dustin was working on some crazy stuff to mix the colors within a can. This was mind-blowing of how he did it, and I wanted to share it, too. Did you, like, cool it down or anything? I got one chilling right Okay. Now. Does it have to be cold for any reason? I know you always have pressure. This one has less pressure than it didn't use. Okay. Right? And is this one full? This one's full of white. Okay. Okay. Right. Maybe. Sure like so you're gonna put the white into this and get it away from my wall? <laughs> yeah. There it is. It's happening. Okay. So that's what you're aiming for. Yeah, there you go. Right, so I need to plan out what I'm doing with my shading and the shadows. And I go to grab my iPad and I'm starting to freak out because I think I lost the stylus. Luckily, this ground is soft enough. Found it. And it's so stupid. <laughs> Now for adding that last finishing touch, adding the spray paint to bring back the definition, add the shadow to make it 3D and make it all come together in the end. Getting a little bit of a later start since I was painting so aggressively, since I was so tired from everything, uh, but I kind of needed that. So heading over there now to see everything since today's the day of the actual event. And this is the first time ever doing this that I can actually not be painting and just like enjoy it and hang out with everybody. From where we were painting, that was only one of the locations. There's I think four more I've heard, so I need to go check all those out. It is so awesome to get to see all these pieces come to life just step by step and learn more about everyone else's process and how they do things. It is so fun to be a part of a huge community like this. Everyone just putting paint on the wall for hours and hours and having a lot of fun. And I just can't get enough of it. And hearing all the stories that people have behind their pieces when you get a chance to actually catch it in the act, it brings the piece to life in a way that just looking at it never really could. Is this your mom? Is this your mom? My mom, yeah. That's awesome. Passed away three years ago. I had to do a memorial piece for her, you know. Oh. Every time I see a ladybug, it reminds me of her. So I had to tell the ladybugs up there. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Getting to see these giants come to life is always so inspiring. And knowing these people for a few years and seeing their progression is just also incredible. There's plenty of awesome street vendors and just more and more art everywhere. And so many different styles. Everyone doing their own version of the thing that just calls to them is the most fun. Kind of feels a lot of really stressful how they do it, but I know they get the same thing. Alex was going for gold doing another little portrait. I guess she can do anything. And seeing everybody else just keep going after it was... really just never stopped. There's so many artists at this and like there's no way I can remember every single one. I'll do my best to tag them all in here but seeing them come to life and just get better and better is, is so much fun and also pushes me to make sure I want to do my best at every chance I can. That was just building one, probably what, like 50 artists on that one. That's one of four, and I have not left it the whole time. So now at the second building, and like, glad I came over now when it's in such good shape. It's, it's crazy how good and different everybody is. This is my third time doing this festival and I think it's by far the best. So much crazy talent from all over. And so many new artists that are being a part of it. If you are interested in doing this kind of stuff at all, absolutely apply to Paint Memphis. It will absolutely push you to be the best artist you can and paint as big as you can. 
and meet all these people because now being part of this kind of community really just kind of fuels you to do even more and more and more. And I am absolutely obsessed with it. Important to me to also showcase everything else going on, not just to make it about me because these events are about everyone. The theme for this was community and I think that really came through with everybody's pieces and all the love for everything going on. Awesome tribute to the Memphis Legend of 3-6. And now everybody is actually painting on top of that building that I was on. Went upstairs, checked everything out, and it's just like so cool and so much fun to cover every possible space and see all the crazy stuff everyone's doing. But it was super, super exhausting. So kind of perfect way to end it all, winding down, playing pool and drinks with everybody and catching up on how much great times we had. That's it. I am exhausted. Uh, this has been such a crazy, crazy long run, but this is a perfect place to end it. So, so much fun. You know, a lot of, a lot of rest and recovery after this, but here's the final piece.